The Toyota Tacoma manual transmission is sticky. I finally figured it out. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. Out cruising around, doing a little spirited driving in my Toyota Tacoma because, frankly, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy running through the gears fast through the manual transmission. Now, I know a lot of you people are going to say it's a truck. It's not a sports car. If you wanted a sports car, you should sell the truck right away and go buy a sports car because that's what a lot of people say. I disagree. I want the best of both worlds. And why can't I have it? I paid 40 some grand for this truck. I want the best of both worlds. So what am I talking about? Well, you know, I've mentioned in the past a few times about how you pull up to a, a light or something, you know, like right now. I'm cruising along. I've got, I'm going to have to stop and shift into first. But sometimes the Toyota Tacoma transmission, the manual transmission, doesn't want to go into first. Let's see what kind of mood it's in today. Okay, nice and smooth, went right in, no problem. But it's not always that way. Sometimes when you pull up and you go over to go into first, and I'm talking from a stop, you're not rolling. Never shift into first when you're rolling unless you're barely moving. But when you're, sh when you're, when you're cruising up to the stoplight and you stop, and you go into first gear, it doesn't want to go. It's like it's hitting a wall. It's because the little synchros in there aren't, aren't getting along. They're not lined up. They're not talking to each other right. That's the reason. So you have to double clutch or go to second gear, or maybe you get lucky and you try it again and it works, but sometimes there's a little thump when you do that. That's because those synchros aren't happy. They're not lined up just right. Now, like I say, I finally figured it out. I finally figured it out what's going on and why the Toyota Tacoma transmission feels sticky to me. I was out today doing one of my little spirited driving days, I guess, and I'm running through the gears. I'm in first, no big deal. Speeding up, can't really go too fast at first anyway. Hit second, no problem. Goes right into second, no issue. But then, during my spirited driving moment, um, I run second all the way out. I go to go into third, and it's a little sticky is the only way I can term it. Now, if you're not familiar, you don't drive a manual transmission, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about, or if you've never driven one spiritedly. But when I go to go to third, it's a little sticky. It's almost like those little synchros are still upset with me, and they're not lining up exactly properly. Now, it's not to say it doesn't go into third gear, it does go into third gear, but you can feel a little bit of resistance, if you will, a stickiness. It's the only way I can term it. Um, it does go in, and then when you go from third to fourth, you get a little bit of that as well. Now, this is when you're driving at high speed, when you're really running out the gears, right? The RPMs are hitting that red area, you know, that red zone. But that's when it happens. So I think it's probably because Toyota has not, let's face it, the, the manual transmission is going away, I think, eventually. So Toyota's not putting a lot of R&D into it. They're not really improving it any. I would guess that the manual transmission in this truck is the same manual transmission that's been in the truck for the last 10, 15 years. I doubt it's really changed much. Maybe a couple little tweaks, but not much as far as performance goes. Because maybe Toyota believes, like a lot of people out there do, that it is a truck and eh, as long as you can get from one gear to the next, it doesn't really matter how you get there. And you shouldn't be flying through the gears anyway. It's a truck. You're supposed to be towing stuff and hauling stuff and driving slow, I guess. But come on, the truck market has changed. I mean, if trucks were just trucks these days, why the heck are we driving quad cabs? Why do we have leather seats? Why do we have an infotainment system in here and a sunroof? Why do we have all that stuff? It's because we want it. Now, the manufacturers have managed to give us that. They've woken up, they've realized that we want that stuff. 
But for some reason, they don't understand that maybe there are people out there like me that actually want to do a little spirited driving in the truck once in a while, that we want the best of both worlds, right? Again, I'm not talking to you folks out there who could care less about it. If you're happy with it the way that it is, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I want more. I want the best of both worlds. I don't want a sticky transmission. The problem here for me is, is that the manual is going away, I think, and there isn't going to be an improvement in the truck. It is what it is. I've got what I've got. It's going to be a sticky transmission until it completely disappears, and then it won't be a manual transmission at all. Now, while I'm talking about that, there's one other thing that I wanted to mention. You know, some people talk about paddle shifters, you know, or that you know, where you can put your stick over into sport mode, and then you can pretend that you're going through the gears. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen, you know? You're not going through the gears. Now, maybe you can use that if you're, I don't know, towing something or in a more extreme environment, you want to be able to keep it in low a little bit longer. But the truck, it's not going to let you blow up your transmission, right? At some point, it's going to shift for you. That's not a manual transmission. If you don't have a clutch, you don't have a manual transmission. And I got news for you. You don't get the same feeling, the same satisfaction or joy, the exhilaration that you get running through the gears. Pedal shifters aren't gonna give you that. They're gonna give you, I don't know, some other different kind of experience. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with pedal shifters. They are another way to enjoy your vehicle. And if that scratches that itch for you and you like that, then that's perfect. I guess for me, since I grew up driving a manual transmission, uh, it, it just doesn't do the same for me and I, I see it as kind of funny myself. Uh, kind of a way for maybe some folks to think that they're driving a manual transmission but really have no clue how to do it. I, I don't know. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know, and I'm directing this specifically to you spirited drivers out there. You folks who like to jump in your Tacoma and get on it once in a while. Run through the gears and enjoy all of that shifting magnificence. Have you experienced this? Do you agree with me? Or is it just me? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator and automatic transmission. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.